everybody, welcome back to The Stuff of Legend. My name is D'Lo and I have another video for you guys today. The Fan Casting Summit number six, DCEU Green Lantern Corps part one. If you guys love the Green Lantern Corps, you're gonna wanna stick around because where I picked six characters we're gonna fan cast for this part one in the Green Lantern series. We're gonna be doing some of the other characters. If some of your favorite characters have not been included in this fan cast, worry not because there will be more to come. But for this event, we have 20 of Instagram's greatest fan casters coming together to give you guys the most wanted actors to play the DCEU's Green Lantern Core. Make sure you guys stick around for the end of this video. That way you guys can see who is the most wanted actors. All the fan casters who have been a part of this project have submitted their top two actors to play all six of these characters. At the very end, we're gonna tally the votes and see who is undisputed as the most wanted actors to play the DCU Green Lantern Core. So let's buckle up, get your popcorn, get your drinks, get some water, find a comfy chair. Let's do this guys, let's get into the fan casting summit. Before we begin, I just wanna remind you guys to click the subscribe button on YouTube. Make sure that you guys follow this channel to catch up and stay caught up on all of the fan castings we do here on the channel because you're not gonna to wanna to miss any of it, I promise you that. Now, do you guys like the Green Lantern Core? Because you're gonna to wanna to watch this, make sure your volume is on. We are doing the Fan Casting Summit number six, DCEU Green Lantern Core Part One. There are many characters to the Green Lantern Core, but for the sake of time, I am going to break it up into a series. This will be the first of many to come. We are going to be doing six of the Green Lantern Core fan favorite characters today, and the rest are yet to come. We're going to be fan casting Hal Jordan, John Stewart, Kyle Rayner, Simon Baz, Jessica Cruz, and of course Kilowog. And the rest of your fan favorite characters are going to be part of this series in a later video to come. But for the sake of time, we're going to keep it to six characters and 20 fan casters. So you guys buckle up. Ready? Here are the fan casters that are participating. Make sure you follow these guys on Instagram. I'm going to put this up at the end again, but this is also the order in which we're going to be showing off the fan castings. So if you want, you can jump ahead. Timestamps will be in the description of the video. All right, first up on the Fan Casting Summit is Nave Wave 88. Welcome back to the Fan Casting Summit. Let's take a look at our first castings. Ooh, this is nice. We've got Scott Eastwood from Pacific Rim and Suicide Squad for Hal Jordan, the Green Lantern. You guys know Hal Jordan. He is our, he is without a doubt the most popular of all the Green Lanterns, probably next to Jon Stewart himself. But uh, Hal Jordan, the cocky, rambunctious, but always do gooding, uh, Hal Jordan. Scott Eastwood, I think is a really good pick for this role. John Krasinski, again, another fan favorite uh, casting for this role. 13 Hours and Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan. Both these guys know how to play the military type. Both of these guys know how to play someone with a little bit of, a little bit of swag, a little bit of cockiness. Um, I think if I had to go between the two of these, I think I would give it to Scott Eastwood, but John Krasinski could totally pull this role off. I really do believe that. Both of these are really good, but my my preference here between the two is Scott. All right, next up, we've got um, John Stewart, Green Lantern. We are looking at Idris Elba from Fast and the Furious Presents Hobbs and Shaw and Thor Ragnarok from the Marvel Universe, and also Jamie Foxx from The Kingdom and Jarhead. This is really cool because we've got two characters who, are, who have and do play um, superhero roles or supervillain roles in this case. We have Idris Elba who plays... Heimdall from Thor um, and he is no longer alive in the universe but nevertheless um, he is still awesome actor really excited um, but I believe he will be playing Bronze Tiger for DCEU already and just like we had seen before with uh, Scott Eastwood he's from Suicide Squad as well so they're both technically in the DCEU although I will say both of them are still my first pick so if I had to choose between Idris Elba and Jamie Foxx I'm going Idris Elba Jamie Foxx, fa fantastic, talented actor, could totally pull off the role, but I would give it to Idris, and I would give it to Scott as well. And so now for this one, for Kyle Rayner, we've got um, Oscar Isaac from X-Men Apocalypse and Star Wars The Force Awakens. We also have Jay Hernandez from Bright and Suicide Squad. I really like this. Jay Hernandez was in Suicide Squad, but um, I don't remember exactly who he played off the top of my head so if i were to look it up i'm sure i'd, I'd know right away obviously but uh, maybe you guys let me know in the comments down below who he played was he an officer was he a military guy um 
was he uh, did he happen to be Diablo maybe he was that actor I, I don't know but I would choose for Oscar Isaac I would choose Oscar Isaac to play Kyle Rayner if I had to choose between the two of these although I will say I would go younger for Kyle Rayner so both of these guys I think are at least 10 15 years older than where I would probably want Kyle Rayner to be if you were to introduce him in the DCEU but nevertheless between the two I think both are great Oscar Isaac is better all right next Jessica Cruz, we've got Melissa Fumero from Brooklyn Nine-Nine and Royal Pains. She's really funny, love that actress. And Isa Gonzalez is totally a fan favorite. I've seen a lot of um, fan casting for her in this role. Isa Gonzalez, Baby Driver and Alita Battle Angel. Amazing actress, and I think 2019 is the year of, of Isa, if you include 2018, like because Alita Battle Angel was technically last year. But um, yeah, I think that Isa Gonzalez would probably be my pick here. With, but Melissa is definitely on the list. All right, so Simon Baz, next we have Riz Ahmed from Venom and Rogue One, A Star Wars Story, and Mina Masood from Aladdin and Open Heart. I really like Riz Ahmed. I loved him in Rogue One. I loved him in Venom. I thought he was really good in both. Um, I thought he was better in Rogue One than in Venom. I thought the character that they wrote for him was really one-dimensional in Venom, but, you know, it was, it was really good. It was fun. Uh, Mina Masood, though, I really liked that guy. I think that he's great. I think that he would do really well in the role. And um, yeah, I would like to see someone a little bit closer to his age take the role. Although I will say Riz Ahmed is very youthful. Um, he looks youthful for uh, for the age that he is. And I think that he would also be a good choice. Both of these are win in my book. I'm going to go Mina Masood. Next up, we've got for Kilowog, Brian Tyree Henry from Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse and Atlanta, who just got confirmed to be in... Uh, Marvel's Eternals, but that won't stop him from being in a DC movie if he wants to so that does not discredit him from this Ron Perlman from Hellboy and Pacific Rim also a great choice now for whoever you're gonna pick for Kilowog is probably going to involve a lot more vocal acting maybe some motion capture probably you're not gonna see a guy in a costume I'm very I'm pretty positive they're not gonna go costume like practical effects for whoever's gonna be Kilowog it's gonna be CGI I'm almost 100% positive so it doesn't really matter to me who's going to be this and it wouldn't really matter either way but I think that for the voice Brian Tyree Henry would be great but I think I gotta go Ron Perlman on this I really appreciate the, the vote though for Brian Tyree Henry loved him in spider-man to the spider-verse um, but I'm definitely going with Ron Perlman all right next up Let's take a look at the full roster, all right? So the full roster here for Nave Wave is from Team 1, uh, Scott Eastwood, Idris Elba, Oscar Isaac, Melissa Fumero, Riz Ahmed, and Brian Tyree Henry. Then for the Team 2, we have John Krasinski, Jamie Foxx, Jay Hernandez, uh, um, Isaac Gonzalez, Mina Masood, and Ron Perlman. Between the two of these teams, I think I'm going to have to go with Team 1. Out of the two of these, my preference across the board as a collective whole would be Team 1. Both of these look really good. I'd be happy with either of these, but I really think that Team 1 has the win in my book. I, I wouldn't be able to say no to Scott Eastwood. Brian Tyree Henry would do an amazing job. Riz Ahmed is great. Melissa Romero is great. Oscar Isaac's great. Elba is great. They're all great. So I think for me, it's Team 1. Let me know what you guys think about Nave Wave's teams down below. Which one do you prefer? And which of these castings individually did you like the most? Next up, we've got... Correct Rankings Fan Cast. Welcome to the Fan Casting Summit. All right, let's take a look at your castings. For Hal Jordan, we have Josh Demel from Transformers The Last Night and Love, Simon. And from uh, Actor 2, we have Garrett Hedlund from Triple Frontier and Tron Legacy. Between the two of these guys, I could totally see, I could totally see Josh Duhamel playing the role, but he's a little older than I would probably want for this role. I would probably give this one to Garrett Hedlund. Um, and and he's a great actor. Both these guys are awesome. Like them both, but I think I would I would lean towards Garrett Hedlund for this. I think he's a little bit more equipped for the role. Um, he looks a little bit closer to the role, in my opinion. Um, and yeah, I think both are cool. Definitely going with Garrett. Let me know what you guys think down below. For John Stewart, we have Travante Rhodes, Moonlight, and Bird Box, and also Ricky Whittle from American Gods and The One Hundred. Dude, both of these guys are killers. I love both of these guys. Um, I think Travante Rhodes definitely has the color more than Ricky Whittle does. And he definitely, I think he's got a little bit more of that face shape, but 
Ricky Whittle, man. I love Ricky Whittle. One of my, he's one of my favorite um, TV actors right now. Really like the guy. If you guys have seen The 100, you know what I'm talking about. If you've seen American Gods, he's awesome. Um, and he's he's jacked out of his mind. I think that Ricky Whittle would be my go-to with a with a close second, very close second, and a total winner in second for Travante Rhodes. Let me know what you guys think down below. Also. Kyle Rayner, we have again Oscar Isaac from X-Men Apocalypse and Star Wars The Force Awakens and Rami Malek from Bohemian Rhapsody and Mr. Robot to play Kyle Rayner. Between the two of these guys, I love Oscar Isaac, but I would go with Rami Malek for age, um, general youthful look, and I think that he would probably play that, that artsy type a little bit more because uh, Kyle Rayner is a comic book artist in his story. So... I would go with Rami. I think he would pull that off, and he's one of the great actors of our day right now. So, um, yeah, that's where I would go. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. All right, for Jessica Cruz, we have Gina Rodriguez from Jane the Virgin and Deepwater Horizons, as well as Natalie Martinez from Death Race and APB. Oh, I like I like Natalie Martinez, but I would probably give this one to Gina Rodriguez. I think uh, I think Gina would be probably maybe a little bit more um i'm gonna use the word likable in in the role although i will say i think natalie martinez would probably pull off the more um jaded upset traumatized character a little bit more than gina would so she's got that going for her. and i think maybe um on looks alone i think natalie might have that um as far as comic book accuracy but you guys let me know if i'm crazy let me know if that doesn't make any sense to you so uh i think i'm gonna choose gina rodriguez but natalie is a really cool choice too um riz ahmed for simon baz from venom and rogue one a star wars story and faras uh, durani faras durani he is from power rangers mystic force he played the red ranger um that's my wife's favorite po uh, power ranger series and uh i really like i like that one too but uh it, and also house husbands I think this guy is really good. He was he was without a doubt the best part of Power Rangers Mystic Force, um, which I thought was I thought was not the best series for the Power Rangers, but it was it was very unique. They tried some new stuff, which I thought worked pretty well for what they were doing, and I thought Faraz stood out very much as clearly the best actor in the entire in the entire cast. So Faraz Durrani, love the guy. And between the two of these, I'm definitely choosing Faraz. Even though I love Riz Ahmed, I think Faraz is better suited for this role. All right, next up, Kilowog. We have Ron Perlman from Hellboy and Pacific Rim, and also Kevin Durant from Lost and X-Men Origins Wolverine, where he played the Blob. Um, I really like both of these guys. Um, and who doesn't love Ron Perlman's voice? But Kevin Durant also has a really deep, macho, rough, gruff voice. I would probably pick Kevin Durant. Let me know if you guys disagree. And finally, we have for Correct Rankings Fan Cast, Hal Jordan. Let's start from Team 1 across the board is Josh Demel, Travante Rhodes, Oscar Isaac, Gina Rodriguez, Riz Ahmed, and Ron Perlman. And for Team 2, we have Garrett Headland, Ricky Whittle, Rami Malek, Natalie Martinez, Faraz Durrani, and Kevin Durant. I think... Almost 100% across the board, my preference here is Team 2. And I think I think it's separated by age here. I think if you're going with an older team across the board, I think the top is the older choices and the bottom is the younger. I think I just pieced that together right now. But I do like the bottom team better for these roles. So what do you guys think about this? I really like both of these castings. Correct rankings, fan cast, great job. And I love this and I would... I need to have Ricky Whittle, Garrett Hedlund, and Faraz Durrani, and Kevin Durant. I really like those, so good job. Anyways, you guys tell me what you like down below. Next up, we have Agent Fancast. Welcome back to the Fan Casting Summit. Let's take a look at your castings. We've got for Hal Jordan, Richard Madden from Game of Thrones, and Bodyguard, who just got cast in Marvel's Eternals. And then also, um, Charlie Hunnam from Triple Frontier and Sons of Anarchy who is rumored to be in talks with Marvel for a Wolverine movie, but that's a rumor not confirmed as of this time, which is uh, in July 2019. And so I, I think that between the two of these guys, I would take Richard Madden for this, for this role. There's other roles I can see Charlie Hunnam in very clearly, one of them being Green Arrow, very obviously. But um, I think that I would choose Richard Madden 
not just because I have a preference for Charlie Hunnam for another role, but also because for this role, I think Richard Madden would just crush the role. So anyways, that's my choice. Next, Jon Stewart, Green Lantern. We have Mahershala Ali, who just got cast as Marvel's Blade. Marvel's taking all the great actors right now, dude. DC needs to like come up with some plans like ASAP. Um, but Mahershala Ali, Luke Cage, um, and now we know he's cast as Blade, but he's also in True Detective. Um, and John David Washington from Black Klansmen and Monsters and Men. Between the two of these, I would, prob I would choose Mahershala Ali, but I really do like John David Washington. Both these guys are a win in my book. It wouldn't really matter to me which one got the role. So, um, but it's it's really easy to see Mahershala Ali in that role, especially with the haircut and the image you chose there. So for me, Mahershala Ali, but you guys tell me if you prefer John David Washington. Next up, let's take a look at Kyle Rayner. We have Charles Melton from Riverdale, and The Sun is also a star. Love that guy. And also, Ludi Lin from Power Rangers 2017 and Aquaman. I also love that guy. Now, I will say, between the two of these, as much as I like Ludi Lin, I think I would go with Charles Melton for this one because he's got a little bit more of that macho, masculine build and masculine look. Ludi Lin is uh, a little bit smaller, a little bit more, um, uh, I guess... I guess smaller is the word, but but Charles Melton to me looks like, especially in his face shape, much more like Kyle Rayner's face than uh, Ludi Lin does. So I'm gonna go with Charles Melton. Next, let's take a look at Jessica Cruz. We have Isaac Gonzalez from Baby Driver and Alita Battle Angel, and Rose Salazar from Bird Box, and again, Alita Battle Angel. Uh, Rose Salazar played Alita. I think between the two of these, I would probably go with um, Isaac Gonzalez over Rose Salazar. Both are really good, but I prefer Isaac Gonzalez as an actress. So let me know what you guys think down below. All right, for Simon Baz, we have Riz Ahmed uh, from Venom and Rogue One, and also again, Mina Masood from Aladdin and Open Heart. Given the choice between the two of these guys, I would go with Mina Masood. I really like him, and I think a lot of people are starting to open their eyes after like having seen Aladdin, for instance, and just seeing hey, this kid can really act. We really like this guy. He's charming. He's likable. And that's something that Simon Baz's story is kind of wrapped up in where, yes, he he had some involvement with some like street crime and, and whatnot. He was at a, at a point a criminal, but at his heart, he's a good guy. He's not trying to hurt anybody. And uh, he gets accused for false crimes that he, he did not commit himself. So uh, I think it would be really cool to see someone like Mina Masood play someone that is genuinely good hearted and gets wrapped up in some stuff. And I think I'd, I'd rather see Mina in that role. Let me know what you guys think down below. All right, Kilowog, we have Dominic Purcell from The Flash, CW, and Prison Break, and Anson Mount from Inhumans and Hell on Wheels. Um, Inhumans has basically been written off. Marvel's going to pretend that never happened. Um, and so Anson Mount, uh, we can just imagine, has never been a superhero, even though he played Black Bolt, um, which I liked. I liked him there. But Dominic Purcell, I think I would go with Dominic for the role of Kilowog over Anson. Um, but you guys let me know what you think down below. All right, so for Agent Fancast, we have Richard Madden, Mahershala Ali, Charles Melton, Isaac Gonzalez, Riz Ahmed, and Dominic Purcell. And at the bottom, we have for Team 2, Charlie Hunnam, John David Washington, Ludi Lin, Rose Salazar, Mina Masood, and Anson Mount. You guys... Let me know what you guys like down below, but for the most part, I am going to go with Team 1, which hurts because I really like Mina Masood, uh, but I also like Riz Ahmed, so it's not, a, it's not a big deal. I think all the guys that are on this list are winners, um, and I think that specifically Team 1 looks the best to me for the Green Lantern Corps. You guys let me know what you think down below. All right, next up we have just another fancast account or Jaffa as he's known on Instagram. Welcome back, my friend, to the fancasting summit. You are king of the unique fancasts. All right, so let's take a look here. Hal Jordan, we have Gabriel Luna from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. where he plays Ghost Rider, Robbie Reyes, and also Terminator Dark Fate, which is um, not at, it's not out at this present time, but we've seen the trailers and they look really cool. So um, time will tell if that's a, it's a great movie or not. But Louis Tan, Deadpool 2, and Iron Fist, I really like Louis Tan. Given the choice between one of these guys to play Hal Jordan, I might actually go with Louis Tan. 
Um, I think I'm gonna do Lewis for this one. Uh, both of them are, are really, really good actors, and I really like Gabriel Luna. Um, he, he tore it up. He, he changed the game for Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. big time when he showed up. Um, but Louis Tan, to me, I think would be better suited for this role. He looks a little bit more like Hal Jordan. He's definitely got the head and face shape um, of Hal Jordan. If they were to just have him grow his hair out a little bit, dye it, you know, that kind of like brownish color, I think he'd be better. So that would be a, a better choice in my book. Um, next up for John Stewart, we have Henry uh, Henry Simmons from Agents of Shield and No Good Deed, and also Ricky Whittle from the 100 and American Gods. I really like both of these guys. Um, I think given the choice between them, I'm probably still gonna go with Ricky Whittle, but Henry Simmons is awesome. He was he was the reason I kept watching the show in the in the I think it was the second or third season. Uh, Agents of Shield started to get a little bit dry for a minute. And I really liked Henry Simmons' character and they were doing some stuff with him. I really appreciated that. So we, we kept watching and I really liked that. So anyway, got love for Henry. Think he'd be great, but Ricky would probably be better. So let me know what you guys think down below. Kyle Rayner, we have Rick Gonzalez. Um, and we have, uh, uh, I'm sorry, from Rick Gonzalez from Arrow and CW. I read that wrong in my brain. So like I, I had to pause and the rookie and then also pedro pascal from the mandalorian and triple frontier so between the two of these guys for kyle rayner i would go with rick gonzalez from the cw's arrow um i think that age does matter if you're going to go with kyle rayner especially in contrast with the actors you pick for um you know hal jordan and john stewart kyle is the newer one of the of the bunch so i would you'd have to i would suggest you go with someone a little bit younger that is coming out of you know like art school and college and that kind of stuff so rick gonzalez i would say i would choose more than pedro pascal and i think pedro pascal in my opinion doesn't really look uh like kyle rayner rick gonzalez doesn't really either to me but i would still i think between the two of them you put the mask on probably do do the job it's it's supposed to do anyway so grow the hair out and uh, just stick to the you know stick to that image that's what i would prefer but you guys let me know if that matters to you maybe not maybe who cares um, and so Rick, Rick Gonzalez is my choice there. Next up, Jessica Cruz. We have Yalita Aparicio from Roma and Jimmy Kimmel Live. I think those were her only credits. I think that's why I put Jimmy Kimmel here. And then also Ro uh, Rosario Dawson, Dawson from Men in Black 2 and the Netflix series of Marvel, which is like Daredevil, Luke Cage, Iron Fist, Jessica Jones, Defenders. And I think even Punisher, she made an appearance. But I would, I would definitely without a second thought, go with Rosario Dawson. Um, I don't see Alita in the role at all, um, but I do see Rosario Dawson. She is fantastic. Rosario Dawson, I don't know anybody who doesn't like Rosario Dawson. She's like, you like you, you, she, she's like the glue that holds the entire net Marvel Netflix series together. She's like the, the key supporting character that's no matter what you do with her, she's fantastic. And uh, she's she's already been in Marvel. She's been in DC in the animated stuff. She's all over the place. But yes, give her the role. I would go Rosario Dawson. I love that. I love that actress so much. She's awesome. Next, Simon Baz. We have Faraz Durrani. Yes, absolutely yes. Um, from Power Rangers, Mystic Force, and Hacksaw Ridge, and also Riz Ahmed from Venom and Rogue One: A Star Wars Story. Love both of these guys 100%. But I would definitely go with Faraz Durrani. Um, I got so much love for that guy, man. I really, I really. If you guys watch Power Rangers: Mystic Force, if you haven't seen it, you'll know it's it's all the like glorious cheesiness and silliness and lightheartedness of the Power Rangers because it's a kids show, right? I love the Power Rangers. I watch it all the time. Um, but Mystic Force was like it was hanging on because they were trying a lot of new stuff and I, i'm not sure that all of it really landed or stuck especially in the first few episodes but the one thing that was like the shining light of that series was Faraz Durrani in his performance as the red ranger 100 so and then now you've seen him in hacksaw ridge and you've seen him in a few other things um yes Faraz Durrani is my, my choice there love these castings dude next we have just another fan cast account saying Kilowog needs to be played by Idris Elba from Pacific Rim and Thor Ragnarok. I couldn't agree more. Although he has been cast already in the DCEU, um, we believe it to be Bronze Tiger in James Gunn's Suicide Squad 2. And then also Stephen Michael Quesada from Breaking Bre I'm sorry, Breaking Bad and In Plain Sight. I like Stephen, 
but I don't really see him playing uh, Kilowog. I'll have to go back and like maybe hear some more audio because he could be he could be really good. I'm sure that he could mod modify his voice. But Idris Elba's got the voice, man. He totally's got the voice. I'm going Idris on this one if they'll let him play two characters. Um, and that would be my choice. All right, so let's take a look at the teams. First up, we've got Gabriel Luna, Henry Simmons, Rick Gonzalez, Yolita Aprizio, Faraz Durrani, and Idris Elba. For team two, we have Louis Tan, Ricky Whittle, Pedro Pascal, Rosaria Dawson, Riz Ahmed, and Steven Michael Casada. Between the two of these, I think I would go with team two. Uh, Louis Tan, Ricky Whittle, Pedro Pascal, uh, Rosario Dawson, Riz Ahmed, and Steven Michael Posada. As much as I love um, Frost, Durrani, and Idris Elba, I think as a whole, Team 2 looks really good to me. So that is what I would choose there. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about these rosters down below. Thank you, Jaffa. All right, Dream Fancast, welcome back to the Fancasting Summit. Let's take a look at what we got here. Hal Jordan played by Miles Teller from War Dogs and and Fan Four, sorry, Fant Four Stick, which is the Fantastic Four movie that came out, I think it was 2015, uh, that flopped hard, like really, really hard. And um, not his fault though. Jamie Dornan, Robin Hood, and Once Upon a Time. Um, between the two of these guys for Hal Jordan, I would go with Jamie Dornan. Um, I think that Miles Teller is great. I think he's got that cocky swagger. I think he could totally do it. I mean, for goodness sakes, he's gonna be playing in the sequel to Top Gun. So I think that he could do it, but I really like Jamie Dornan for this role. I think he's got the look a little bit more, um, a little bit more than Miles Teller does. I would like to see Jamie Dornan get it, but both of these guys are a win in my book. Um, next up, John Stewart. We got J uh, John David Washington from Black Klansman and Monsters and Men. And then we also have Mahershala Ali from Luke Cage, True Detective, and who just got cast as Blade. We, I, between the two of these guys, we've already seen this matchup before. I would go with Mahershala Ali. Let me know what you guys think down below. Next up, we've got Kyle Rayner, David Castaneda from End of Watch uh, and The Umbrella Academy. He was awesome in The Umbrella Academy. And also Oscar Isaac from X-Men Apocalypse and Star Wars The Force Awakens. Between the two of these, I think it's, for me, it's very evident. I would I would go with David Castaneda. I'd never seen him before the, the Umbrella Academy, but man, he was awesome. He was really, really good in the Umbrella Academy, and I think he would do a really good job playing this role. I'd like to see him in something that's a little different from what we saw in the Umbrella Academy, and this would be the perfect opportunity for that. He's got the look. Um, I think you just grow the hair out, make it a little bit more slick and suave, and uh, that would that would pretty much do it for me. Just shave the <laughs> shave the facial hair, clean him up. And I think you got it. Have him hit the gym a little bit more, and you're done. Easy. All right. Next up, we have Jessica Cruz, Rose Salazar, Bird Box, and Alita Battle Angel, and Melissa Fumero from Brooklyn Nine Nine and Royal Pains. Between the two of these actresses, I think I would go with. I think I would go with Rose Salazar for this one. Melissa Fumera does a really good job playing someone that's like happy and lighthearted. Um, I haven't seen her play anything that is seriously like traumatized. On Brooklyn Nine-Nine where I've seen her, um, she there's some scenes where she has to play like really sad or really hurt or angry. And I don't, I, I buy it only in a comedy standpoint. I don't, I don't take it very seriously. And maybe that's her point because it is a comedy show. But Rose Salazar, I can take seriously. And I think Jessica Cruz is someone that must be portrayed seriously. So that is my take there. I'm going Rose Salazar. Let me know if you guys disagree in the comments. Next, we have Simon Baz, Mina Masood, Aladdin, and Open Heart, and Riz Ahmed from Venom and Rogue One. We have done this matchup. I'm, go I'm going with Mina Masood. I really like him, and I think he's better for the role. Next up, Kilowog from, uh, and then we have David Harbour from Stranger Things and Hellboy 2019, who just got cast. Um, we know he's in the uh, the Black Widow movie, and um, he is supposedly playing the Red Guardian. And Ving Rhames from Mission Impossible Fallout and Lilo and Stitch, um, who I think would be awesome, really, really great uh, for this role. For either of these guys would do a really good job, but I think I would go with Ving Rhames for this one. His voice is just, it's he's like, he's one of the kings of deep voice. You know what I mean? 
For deep voices, it's hard to beat Ving. He's got a very specific sound. And I think it would work really well with Kilowog. All right, let's take a look at the teams. We've got first up, Miles Teller, John David Washington, David Castaneda, Rose Salazar, Mina Masood, David Harbour. For team two, we have Jamie Dornan, Mahershala Ali, Oscar Isaac, Melissa Fumero, Riz Ahmed, and Ving Rames. Between the two of these, I think across the board, I'm gonna go, oh, well, not across the board because it's a little bit flip-flop, but all of them seem to be winners, but I would take team one for that slight edge on the young crew. You know what I mean? Get a younger crew on there, um, especially for like Mina Masood, Rose Salazar, and uh, David Castaneda. I think their characters specifically need some that are a little bit more youthful. So I'd go with them. All right, next up, FanCast 3000. Welcome to the Fan Casting Summit. Let's take a look at your choices. We've got Hal Jordan, John Krasinski from Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan in 13 Hours, and Jensen Ackles from Supernatural and Smallville. Dude, I love this. I really like John Krasinski, don't get me wrong. He's probably a top like five, maybe six actors of all time I would like to see play this role, but Jensen Ackles is a top two for me. I'm going Jensen Ackles. Dude, Sam. <laughs> I would love to do the supernatural impression. Sam, 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 <laughs> Cass. Yeah. All those like, I love supernatural. But anyway, John Stewart, we have Idris Elba, Thor Ragnarok, Pacific Rim. Uh, and we also have Michael Jai White from D The Dark Knight and Spawn. Given the choice between the two of these, I would go with Michael Jai White. Um, his expertise as a fighter and his physique is already where it needs to be to play um, John Stewart. Obviously, Idris Elba is an incredible actor, but Michael J. White is also a really, really good actor. And so I would say Michael J. White is the best choice for this role uh, out of the two of these. I would give it to Michael. So there we go. Uh, next up, we've got Kyle Rayner. Uh, we have Dylan O'Brien from Bumblebee and American Assassin and Tyler Posey from Teen Wolf and Truth or Dare. Either of these guys would be really good for Kyle Rayner. But... Tyler Posey, in my opinion, would be a little bit better. Um, I would really like to see Tyler Posey get this role. You guys let me know if you disagree down in the comments. All right, next we have Jessica Cruz. We've got Isaac Gonzalez and Gina Rodriguez. You guys already know where they're from. Um, I think that I, between the two of these, I'm going to go with Isaac Gonzalez. So Isaac Gonzalez has my vote there. Simon Baz, we have Ricky Whittle. Uh, I think this is the uh, first time we're seeing Ricky Whittle in Simon Baz's cast. We've seen him a number of times for Jon Stewart, but not yet for Simon Baz. That's interesting. I do think that Ricky Whittle could play a Simon Baz. Um, in fact, that's a great idea. I would, I would actually like that a lot. I hadn't even considered that. But uh, Oscar Isaac from Triple Frontier and Star Wars The Force Awakens. If you're gonna go a little bit older, I would say let's go for Oscar Isaac. Um, but because this character needs to be a little bit younger than some of the other castings we have, I would go with Ricky Whittle. Um, so that's my that's my choice. Both really good, but I'm going Ricky Whittle. All right, next up, we've got Kilowog, Ron Perlman, Hellboy and Pacific Rim, and Ving Rhames from Mission Impossible Fallout, and Lilo and Stitch. Between the two of these, I'm gonna go with Ving Rhames. I really like Ving for this one. Next, let's take a look at the teams across the board and you guys tell me what you think. First up, John Krasinski, Idris Elba, Dylan O'Brien, Isaac Gonzalez, Ricky Whittle, and Ron Perlman. For team two, we have Jensen Ackles, Michael Jai White, Tyler Posey, Gina Rodriguez, Oscar Isaac, and Ving Rhames. Between the two of these, I'm gonna go with team two. Get Jensen Ackles as Green Lantern. That would be so freaking cool. You guys, let me know what you like down below. Next up, Fancast forever. Welcome back to the Fan Casting Summit. Let's see your choices. Hal Jordan, we're looking at Army Hammer from Mine and the Social Network, who I think, by the way, is one, is one of the top two best choices you could possibly make for this role. Um, Army Hammer is fantastic, and uh, he looks the part 100%. Zachary Quinto, another incredible actor who I love and adore for Star Trek and Heroes who played Spock. I would really like to see Army Hammer play this, and out of the two of these, I think that Army is the best choice. You guys tell me what you think down below. Next up, we have Travante Rhodes from Moonlight and Bird Box for Jon Stewart, and also Ricky Whittle from American Gods and The 100. Between the two of these, I think we've already had this matchup, but 
and I think I chose Ricky Whittle last time, but looking at this image here you got for uh, for John Stewart and then also um, looking at Travante, I think based on this image here alone, I would probably go with Travante. So that's my choice for this one, but it's so close. Either one's a win. Next, let's go to Kyle Rayner. We're looking at Ross Butler, who's already in the DCEU in Shazam. If you haven't seen Shazam, you absolutely should see Shazam. It is freaking awesome. It is like, it is so good, so much fun, and it's way different than you think it's gonna be based on the marketing. The trailers do not let you know what's going on. It's awesome. It's a, it's a pleasant surprise, refreshing take on what the DCEU is capable of, and it's going somewhere, so you need to see it. Next, um, after Ross Butler, who I think is awesome, we have Tyler Posey from Teen Wolf and Truth or Dare. Between the two of these, I love Ross, but he's already in the DCEU, and I think Tyler Posey would be better in this role, so I'm giving it to Tyler Posey for this one. Next, we've got Jessica Cruz, for uh, Melissa Fumero from Brooklyn Nine-Nine and Royal Pains, and also Stephanie Beatrice, also from Brooklyn Nine-Nines and Modern Family. Between the two of these, I would go with Stephanie Beatrice, because in Brooklyn Nine-Nine, she plays someone that is very jaded, very cynical, very dark, very like um, brooding. And not that Melissa Fumera is brooding or dark, but she is traumatized. And you need to be able to convey uh, a very serious nature to yourself. And I think that Stephanie Beatrice would do that probably a lot better than Melissa Fumero based on what I've seen. So you guys let me know if you disagree. Maybe I need to watch something, catch up on their work before, see if Melissa might be better. But I think Stephanie is where I'm going with this. So let me know what you think down below. Next, Simon Baz. We have Riz Ahmed from Venom and Palance. I think I'm saying this maybe hopefully right, Deladla. Deladla, I don't know how to say his last name, but we'll call him Palance. Um, Palance from Shadow and Avenged. I have not seen Palance act as far as I'm aware. So I can't speak to the acting chops here, but based on looks, Riz Ahmed is clearly the better choice because Simon Baz, his story is wrapped up in his cultural identity. And even if it wasn't, I tend to lean towards comic book accuracy anyway. But Riz Ahmed, I think, is the better choice. I know Riz Ahmed as an actor. I've seen his work, and I think he is absolutely awesome as an actor and would knock the role out of the park. So Riz Ahmed is my choice, but very unique casting. I like that. All right, next up, we have Kilowog, David Harbour from Hellboy 2019 and Stranger Things, and also another Hellboy, Pearl Harmon. I'm sorry, Pearl Harmon. Ron Perlman from Hellboy and Pacific Rim. Uh, so I think both of these guys are really, really good. I would probably go with Ron Perlman, but I've got mad love for David Harbour, I really do. Um, but I would like to see Ron Perlman get this voice role. Next, let's take a look at the teams from FanCast Forever. We've got Army Hammer, Trevante Rhodes, Ross Butler, Melissa Fumero, Riz Ahmed, David Harbour. For team two, we have Zachary Quinto, Ricky Whittle, Tyler Posey, Stephanie Beatriz, Palance, Deladala, if I'm saying that correctly, and Ron Perlman. So, Given that this is pretty well balanced, I mean, I, I like the first two on, on, on the top. I like the uh, the last two on the end of the top. And then for the middle, I like basically all of the middle. Um, so I don't know. I like this one's pretty close, pretty even for me. I'm going to go ahead and say team one. I like team one better than team two. Let me know what you guys think down below which one you prefer. All right, next up. Fancast Frenzy, welcome back to the Fan Casting Summit and a really cool logo, I might add. All right, so Hal Jordan, we have Liam Hemsworth from The Hunger Games and The Duel and Chris Hemsworth from Thor Ragnarok and Red Dawn. Obviously, Chris Hemsworth is playing Thor right now. Both of these guys are really good for the role, but I will say Liam Hemsworth would be my pick for Hal Jordan over Chris Hemsworth anyway, regardless, because I think Liam Hemsworth looks a little bit closer to the role than Chris does. So I'm going to go with Liam Hemsworth, and I think he'll play that role as good or better than his brother for sure. So that's my opinion. Let me know if you disagree there, but I like Liam for this one. Next up, let's take a look. We got Mahershala Ali from Moon Knight and True Detective to play Jon Stewart, and also Michael Jai White from Accident Man and Triple Threat. Between the two of these guys, I would probably go with... Michael Jai White and Mahershala Ali, like I've said before, has been just recently announced to be Blade in the MCU, which will come out in a few years. But I think that Michael Jai White 
is better equipped for the role. Um, maybe, maybe as good an actor. We don't know for sure. I mean, obviously, Mahershala is an Oscar-winning actor, which, you know, by by default, kind of makes him better. Um, but because you, you have to earn that. But Michael Jai White, fantastic, love it. And I think him as a fighter, that's what you need for John Stewart. You need that fighting. Um, because he was a marine like he's not about to go down it's not just the powers that make this guy super he's an he's a he was a hero on earth before he was a hero uh with the ring so i'm gonna give it to michael jai white next up let's go kyle rayner mario lopez from the stream and the dog who saved christmas vacation not a lot of um acting um credits to call back to for this one but lynn manuel miranda also with uh, mary poppins and brooklyn 99 as well I will say for this one, I would actually go with Mario Lopez. I mean, a lot of people are fans of, of Lin Manuel Miranda. He's a good actor, but I think I don't know. I would I would probably give it to Mario Lopez on looks. Um, and I don't. I've never been a, a big fan of Lin Manuel Miranda. I don't. I'm. I don't think he's particularly a great actor. I think he's a good actor. I think he's an okay. You know, like get does the job. Um, never really stood out to me. But Mario Lopez, again, not a fantastic actor, but I think he would do the role. Uh, maybe he could, you know, maybe he could pull it off. You guys tell me if I'm just nuts or if, you know, it would be stupid to choose. It would be stupid to choose Mario Lopez. But I like this. I think that's good. So, uh, obviously, Fancast Frenzy has some faith in that for me. Uh, so, anyway, Gina Rodriguez from Jane the Virgin and Carmen Sandiego on Netflix for uh, Jessica Cruz or Odette Annabelle from Supergirl and House. This is a cool choice. I really like Odette. Um, I thought she was a really cool ad for Supergirl. I thought her story was one of the one of the best storylines in Supergirl. I'm not the biggest Supergirl fan uh, for CW. I like I like the character. I just the CW show is a little bit off putting for me. But um, I think uh, I'm going with Odette. I really liked her in Supergirl, and I think she would do a really good job playing Jessica Cruz. All right, so Simon Baz, we've got Faraz Durrani from Power Rangers Mystic Force and Hacksaw Ridge and Riz Ahmed from Venom and Rogue One, a Star Wars story. Given the choice between these guys, we've done this before. I'm going to go with Faraz Durrani every time. Next, Kilowog, Idris Elba from Pacific Rim and Thor Ragnarok and Kevin Michael Richardson, who has voiced the character in the Green Lantern animated series, um, which I believe is on the DC streaming service right now and Teen Titans. He was in there as well. I can't remember who he voiced. It might have been Trigon, but um, but nevertheless, between the two of these, I would go with Kevin Michael Richardson to voice Kilowog. He was awesome in the the Green Lantern animated series, and I would love to see him get that opportunity to voice the character again, so perfectly as he already has um, in that live action movie. All right, let's take a look at the teams. So first up, we've got Liam Hemsworth, Mahershala Ali. Mario Lopez, Gina Rodriguez, Frost Durrani, Idris Elba, Liam Hems, and then for, sorry, for team two, getting ahead of myself, getting really excited. Team two, we've got Chris Hemsworth, Ma Michael Jai White, Lin-Manuel Miranda, Odette Annabelle, Riz Ahmed, and Kevin Michael Richardson. So all of the difficult names are on team two for sure. But then for team two, I think across, okay, maybe not across the board, but I like team two a lot. Um, I would just prefer Liam and Faras on the bottom and that would make a complete perfect team in my opinion I would love that um, So yes, I like team two better, but some great choices all across the board Awesome casting. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments next up We've got fan cast power. Look at that emblem. That is really cool. Welcome back to the fan casting summit and Let's take a look at your choices Yes! Getting some more of that supernatural action. Jake Gyllenhaal from Spider-Man Far From Home, who crushed his role so well. Love that. It's, it's my new favorite Spider-Man movie. I, I love all of the Spider-Man movies. I loved Far From Home so, so much. Um, and because of Jake Gyllenhaal specifically and the stories thereof. Uh, and also Prisoners, another fantastic movie. And then Jared Padalecki from Supernatural and Gilmore Girls. Holy cow, is this a good a good matchup here. I really like uh, Jared Padalecki, but I'm gonna go with Jake Gyllenhaal because I think he looks, if you were to shave his beard, he looks exactly like Hal Jordan should. It's it's crazy how, how much he looks like the role, and I think it would be awesome. Plus, he'd get to rub it 
in in uh, Ryan Reynolds's face on in, on social media for the rest of our lives, and that would be awesome. So I'm gonna go with Jake Gyllenhaal. All right, next up we've got John Stewart. We got Sterling K. Brown from This Is Us and Supernatural, and Chadwick Boseman from Black Panther and 42. By the way, uh, Sterling K. Brown was also in Black Panther. He played um, he played uh, the father of Eric Killmonger. And so Sterling K. Brown, being the prince, Prince Njobu, um, is in the MCU, not in the DCEU. I would really like, both of them are in the MCU, I would like to see Sterling K. Brown get the role. Um, although I, I, I really love Chadwick Boseman, he could totally pull off the role. To me, Sterling looks much more like the role and I think he's the better actor. I really, I have no problem with Chadwick. Perfect, perfect actor, but Sterling is just fantastic. He's awesome, so I'm going Sterling. Next up, we've got Kyle Rayner, Oscar Isaac from Triple Frontier and Star Wars The Force Awakens. Um, it's amazing how much impact a specific photo can do to convince you of someone in a role. Look at this picture. It looks very much like Kyle Rayner. And then also Dylan O'Brien from Bumblebee and Maze Runner. This picture to me of Dylan does not particularly look like Kyle Rayner. However, he does fit the role really well. And I think that I would go with Dylan O'Brien for Kyle Rayner um, any day of the week. But Oscar Isaac, if you're gonna go for an older Kyle Rayner. All right, next up. Actually, you know what? I would go for Oscar Isaac as Simon Bass, even though I would prefer him to be younger. Um, so next up, Jessica Cruz. We've got Zoe Saldana from Avatar, Guardians of the Galaxy, Avengers Endgame, and almost every of the of the top 10 highest grossing films of all time. And then also Jessica Alba from Fantastic Four and Into the Blue. For this one, I would go with Zoe Saldana, but I really like Jessica Alba. I thought she was amazing as uh, Invisible Woman, Susan Storm. I didn't, I didn't have any problem with her as Susan Storm in the, the Fantastic Four movie. And yes, I know it was a little bit different, right? It wasn't, it wasn't exactly the way that it should have been, but I thought she was good in the movie and I did not think she was one of the weak links of the film. So uh, she would be really cool, but I think it'd be better to put Zoe Saldana in the film uh, for this one. So I'm gonna give it to Zoe. Next, we've got Simon Baz, Jay Ali from Daredevil on Netflix. He was really great. Um, and uh, Darling Companion, and also Dev Patel from Slumdog Millionaire and Lion. Given the choice between the two of these, I think I'll go with, uh, I think I'll go with Jay Ali, except I would probably prefer the youth of Dev Patel. So that's where I'm going, Jay Ali. And with Kilowog, we have Dwayne Johnson from Rampage, and Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle, among many other blockbuster movies, including Hobbs and Shaw coming up. And also Bing Rams from Mission Impossible Fallout and Lilo and Stitch. So between the two of these, I would really like to see Dwayne Johnson get this one. I mean, I, there's so many roles I'd love to see, but Dwayne Johnson is is Black Adam, okay? He's already, he's been on contract for that role since 2011. He's producing Shazam. He's already kind of, kind of in a cameo Easter egg kind of way been in Shazam a little bit not really but a little and what if you see the movie you'll know what I'm talking about but I want to go with Ving Rhames because vocally I think he's better for the role all right next up let's take a look at the teams we've got for how for team one we've got Kyle uh <laughs> for team one we've got Jake Gyllenhaal Sterling K Brown Oscar Isaac Zoe Saldana Jay Ali Dwayne Johnson and then for team two, we've got Jared Padalecki, Chadwick Boseman, Dylan O'Brien, Jessica Alba, Dev Patel, and Ving Rhames. I think across the board, I love team one. Team one to me is golden. You, you get this cast in there for the DCU and you've just made yourself a lot of money because you know acting's not gonna be your problem here. Acting will not be your problem if these are the guys you chose for these roles. Um, and for team two, obviously they're all very talented and very great, but I think team one is just, as a, as a team, better. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. This is really cool. Next, Fan Casting Central, welcome back to the Fan Casting Summit. Let's take a look at the teams. We've got Dan Amboyer for Hal Jordan from Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice and Brawl in Cell Block 99. Technically he's already been in BVS, um, but we also have Army Hammer from Mine and the Social Network. Given the choice between these two guys, I think Dan Amboyer is a really good choice, really cool choice. But I again, 
one of my top picks of all time. In fact, if he's not my top pick, he's my top sec my second pick. Army Hammer is perfect for this role. I would choose Army Hammer over um, Dan Amboyer any day of the week. All right, next up, we have Jon Stewart, Ricky Whittle from American Gods and 100, and Mahershala Ali from Luke Cage and True Detective. I really like both these guys. Um, it's a coin toss for me. Either one of these guys would be savage in the role of Jon Stewart. I really like both these, but I think that I would give it to Ricky Whittle. I really like Ricky Whittle for this one. Let me know what you guys think down below. Also, Kyle Rayner, we have Tyle po uh, Tyler Posey from Teen Wolf and Truth or Dare, and Diego Boneta from uh, Rock of Ages and Pretty Little Liars. Given the choice between the two of these guys, I'm gonna go with Tyler Posey. Tyler Posey looks to me more like the role. I know he can play that type of role very well. Um, youthful, imaginative, artsy, creative. That would be ideal. So I'm gonna go with Tyler Posey. And for Jessica Cruz, we've got Isaac Gonzalez from Baby Driver and Little Battle Angel, and Gina Rodriguez from Jane the Virgin and Carmen Sandiego. Between the two of these, uh, this is tough, but we've had this matchup before, and I've gone with Isaac Gonzalez. Um, I'm I'm sticking with Isaac Gonzalez, but it's to me both these ladies could do the role. You guys tell me who you like. And also for Simon Baz, we have Mahesh Jadu, if I'm saying that correctly, Jadu. Uh, from Marco Polo and I, Frankenstein. And also for Ross Durrani from Power Rangers Mystic Force and Pitch Black. <sighs> Excuse me, guys. I'm recording this very, very late. So for Ross Durrani, Power Rangers Mystic Force is my choice. I really like him, and I think he is the best actor for this role, without a doubt. Um, all right, next up we've got for Kilowog, we've got Brad Garrett from Justice League, the animated series. Um... I think he plays Lobo in that one. And all, and Christopher Robin, this guy is known for his deep, deep, deep voice. Very, very, very deep. And also, and then we got Terry Crews. Oh man, come on, yogurt. He's in, in uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, there's a joke about the yogurt. He goes, oh man, Terry loves yogurt. That's how he does it. Terry loves yogurt. And the, making my way downtown, blah, blah, blah. In the White Chicks, funniest movie of all time, and it's his fault, he did it. He made it the funniest movie of all time. He's the culprit. So if you want someone with charisma, I'd go with Terry Crews. But Kilowog's not really known for his charisma. He's known for being brute-ish and one of the deepest voices you can possibly imagine. I would go with Brad Garrett for this one personally, but Terry Crews is a win as well. So um, would be a little different, but hey, also good. And finally, let's take a look at the teams. We've got Dan Amboyer, Ricky Whittle, Tyler Posey, uh, Isaac Gonzalez, Mahesh Jadu, and uh, Brad Garrett. For team two, we have Army Hammer, Mahershala Ali, Diego Banana, Gina, Gonzalez, uh, Gina Rodriguez, um, Faraz Durrani, and Terry Crews. Between the two of these teams, I'm actually going to go with team two. With Army, Mahershala, Diego, Gina, Faraz, and Terry. That to me is a winning team. I think the top is great as well, but across the board I really like team two. Let's take a look at the next one right here. We've got World of Fancast. Welcome back to the Fancasting Summit. All right, Hal Jordan, we have Richard Madden from Bodyguard and Game of Thrones and Miles Teller from War Dogs and Bleed for this. Between the two of these guys, I think I'm going to go with um, Richard Madden uh, on the basis that I think both of them are great actors. And I actually do think that Miles Teller would do the role well, but I think Richard Madden's a little closer to the target age. Um, a little bit older, and I know I've said I want these actors a little bit younger. It's really good casting for both these guys. Either one, you know what, no. I'm gonna throw a bone to Miles Teller right now because I really do, and it's not just like a charity thing. I really like Miles Teller. And I'm looking at the face shape right now, and I think the face shape works a little bit better on Miles Teller. So I'm gonna go with Miles, but you really gotta make that hair like a light brown kind of color, like lighter, you know? Uh, Miles has a really dark hair color. So accuracy, people. All right, next we've got John Stewart, uh, John David Washington, Monsters and Men and Black Klansmen, and Andre Holland from Castle Rock and Moonlight. Between the two of these, I'm gonna go with John David Washington. I think it's, it's clearer to me that I think John David Washington has a much more accurate, I think, skin skin color. He's a, little, a lot darker. I, you'd obviously have to shave the beard off and go with a marine haircut. You got to go all the way for this thing. You know what I mean? Um, Andre Holland doesn't really seem like uh, the marine type to me. 
but I could see that in John David Washington. So I'm going to go with John. Next up, we've got Kyle Rayner, Anthony Ramos, and A Star is Born, and uh, Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Uh, Justin, and we, after that, we have Justin Baldoni from Jane the Virgin and Five Feet Apart. Between the two of these guys, I think I would go with um, Anthony Ramos, but I would definitely want some sort of like wig. You got to give him that hair. Kyle Rayner's iconic. He's got that hair, you know, like you got to have that long, like kind of flowing. It's almost borderline like, like flowy Asian hair, you know, like it's, it's got to be kind of like that, like where it's straight, but it, you know, you grow it long enough and it starts to do that. You got to have that kind of hair. And I think combine the face shape. I think that guy, Anthony Ramos from A Star is Born in Godzilla King of the Monsters, he's got a lot of charm and I think that's something Kyle's going to need. So I'm going to go with him. Justin Baldoni's also good, but I like Anthony Ramos better. All right, so next we've got Jessica Cruz. Genesis Rodriguez uh, from What to Expect When Expecting, which is one of the funniest movies I've ever seen, and Big Hero 6, um, and Aubrey Plaza from Parks and Recreation and Legion to play Jessica Cruz. Now, I think that Jessica, uh, sorry, Genesis Rodriguez is really good, but I would go with Aubrey Plaza for this role because Aubrey plays someone that is like broken really well. Uh, even though a lot of her roles are kind of a uh, broken with a comedy spin, like she plays like gothic, dark, she doesn't mind killing people, that kind of stuff, which is different than Jessica Cruz, but I think she would be able to pull it off in a way that is is relatable and compelling for many, even people who have not uh, experienced what the character Jessica Cruz has in her fictional bio biography. So Jessica Cruz, I think, needs to be played by Aubrey Plaza out of the two of these ladies. All right, next we have Simon Baz, Mina Masood, and Rami Malek. Given the choice between these, um, I would go with Mina Masood. And it's close. Both of these guys are perfect for the role. I think Rami's awesome. Um, would, should, should, would, and could get the role, but so should, would, and could Mina Masood. So I think I'm gonna go with Mina. And finally, we have Kilowog. Ving Rams from Pulp Fiction and Mission Impossible Fall, and John Goodman from Monsters, Inc. and Kong Skull Island. Both of these are really good. I'm going to surprise you guys. I'm going to go with John Goodman on this one. John Goodman um, has always been able to really connect with people, even though he's got kind of a really intimidating voice. He's been able to use it to um, really, really draw out emotion from people in a really positive way. And I think that's something that even though Kilowog is really rough and gruff and tough, he also has a way of proving that he is one of the most loyal beings that you could ever want as a partner. And uh, no matter how, how crazy it gets, you can trust him in a fight. He's got your back and he's also there for you as a friend. And so I think John Goodman will pull that out of Kilowog really well, even when he's saying, welcome to hell, you poosers, you know, that kind of stuff. So I think for, for that one, I would give it to John. All right, let's take a look at the teams. We've got a really all-star cast all the way around. I like Richard. So we got Richard Madden, John David Washington, Anthony Ramos, Genesis Rodriguez, Mina Masood, and Ving Rames. And for team two, we've got Miles Teller, Andre Holland, Justin Baldoni, Aubrey Plaza, Rami Malek, and John Goodman. I think for me, Team one works the best. And team two is a really, really close second. So let me know what you guys think down below. I really like these. Great job, world of fan casts. All right, next up we've got Fancast Infinity. Welcome to the Fan Casting Summit. Let's take a look at your choices. Ooh, this is cool. We've got Justin Hartley for Hal Jordan from This Is Us in Smallville. Really like that. That's a really good choice. And Chris Evans from Captain America the Winter Soldier and Avengers Endgame, which might possibly be other than I would say Chris Pine, the best of all choices for this role. I think Chris Evans, I, if he was, you know, technically he's already, he's technically done in the MCU, but they've got the What If series coming and the Falcon and Winter Soldier show. We don't know what's gonna happen with Chris Evans after Endgame. He's already kind of said goodbye, like he's done, but he will probably almost indefinitely come back for more in the MCU from time to time as a guest. So it's not such a long-term commitment or a big deal. Um, and uh, Justin Hartley also great, but I'm going to give this one to Chris Evans. I think he looks much more close to the actual character and, uh, we've already seen him play 
Human Torch. I mean, you already know he can play that cocky, let's go get it, you know, Top Gun type of character. And Justin Hartley, who I don't doubt can do that as well, um, is also good, but just not Chris Evans. So that's what I would say. Next up, we've got Jon Stewart, uh, Sterling K. Brown from Black Panther, This Is Us, and Winston Duke, also from Black Panther, and Us, not This Is Us. So I think both these guys are awesome for this role. It would be really cool to see Winston Duke get this role, um, but I would probably, I might still give it to Sterling, um, just because I think he does look a little closer to the role, but Winston Duke was my favorite part of Black Panther. I loved Black Panther, and I love, love, love Winston Duke. Winston Duke, I think, you know what, I'm gonna give it to him, but seriously, it's a straight coin toss. Both these guys are gold. All right, next, let's take a look. Kyle Rayner, Louis Tan from Iron Fist Netflix, and uh, Deadpool 2, he's been very heavily involved in the MCU. And also Steven Yuen, uh, Yoon, sorry, Steven Yoon from The Walking Dead and Voltron Legendary Defender. Given the choice between both of these guys, I would go with Louis Tan for the role of Kyle Rayner over Steven. I like Steven, he's a total geek and a nerd, I love that guy, but man, Louis Tan has gotta be it for me. And then uh, Jessica Cruz, we've got Diane Guerrero from Doom Patrol, and this is interesting. She was the voice actress that played Jessica Cruz in Justice League vs. The Fatal Five. If you haven't seen that animated movie yet, you absolutely must. It's really, really good, um, and she did an amazing job. She perfectly captured what that character needs to be. DC's animated game is off the chain, dude. If you guys haven't seen the DC animated stuff, it is awesome. Like, they don't mess around with their animated stuff. It is legit. And uh, Rose Salazar, also fantastic. I love that uh, actress, Alita Battle Angel Bird Box. But I'm gonna go with Diane Guerrero. She already knows the character. She knows what's required. She's already shown us she can deliver on that in a vocal role, Justice League versus The Fatal Five. And she's working with DC right now in a live action on Doom Patrol. She's already done the first season. She's fantastic, love it, love it, love it. And she looks the part. So I'm gonna give it to Diane Guerrero. Next. Uh, Simon Baz, we have Oscar Isaac from Star Wars The Force Awakens and Triple Frontier, and also Diego Luna from Rogue One, A Star Wars Story, who played Cassian Andor, and Narcos. Between the two of these guys, I would go with Oscar Isaac um, over Diego Luna for the role. Oscar Isaac um, definitely looks a little bit more like the role, like the source material. You just have to, you know, cut the hair really short and you'd get it. You know, I think it'd be really good. A little older than I would prefer, but um, still, I think he would do a really good job. Next, we have Kilowog. We've got J.K. Simmons, the great from Spider-Man 2 and Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice, who play, he's already in the DCEU. He plays Jim Gordon. But we also have Samuel L. Jackson here from Avengers and Glass, um, who I think is also really cool. But I would give this one to J.K. Simmons um, from Spider-Man and BVS. Uh, even though he's already in the DCEU, uh, in a vocal only role or a vocal and motion capture, which I doubt they would even do, they'd probably just make it CGI, um, I would give it to J.K. Simmons. All right, next, let's take a look at the teams. We've got first up, Justin Hartley, Sterling K. Brown, Louis Tan, Diane Guerrero, Oscar Isaac, and J.K. Simmons. And for team two, we have Chris Evans, Winston Duke, Steven Yuen, Rose Salazar, Diego Luna, and Samuel L. Jackson. Given the choice between the two of these teams, I'm going to go with Team 1. Did that surprise you guys? I like Team 1 better than Team 2. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. All right, we've got Jax Fancast. Welcome back to the Fan Casting Summit. Let's take a look at what you got. We've got Alden Ehrenreich from Hail Caesar and Solo A Star Wars Story for Hal Jordan, which I think is actually a really good choice. And also Miles Teller from War Dogs, and thank you for your service. Between the two of these, I think I would go with Miles Teller every time, but I loved Solo. I thought it was awesome. Nobody went out to see it, which was a dirty shame, because um, they were they were, everyone was upset from The Last Jedi, including myself, but people didn't go see it for two reasons. They didn't know it was coming out because the marketing was hot trash. No one knew when it was coming out. They moved the, the, they moved the release date like four times. And then also, um, it was a reboot of a movie they didn't want. So, um, or it was, it was, you know, they were, they were cycling a new character, a new actor after they just killed the other character. So it was just not a good setup, but he did a great job. I thought, I thought Aaron Reich is great. 
good backup, but I think Miles Teller is the one. So John Stewart, Travante Rhodes, and Chadwick Bozeman. Between the two of these guys, I'm going Travante Rhodes. And for Kyle Rayner, we've got Diego Bonita and Tyler Posey. Between the two of these guys, to me, it's obvious I'm going with Tyler Posey, but let me know if you disagree. We also have Jessica Cruz, Isaac Gonzalez, and Anna de Armas from War Dogs and Knock Knock. I really like Anna de Armas. I think that she looks uh, really good for the role, but a little bit more on the white side, and I would prefer someone closer to the role, so I'm choosing Isaac Gonzalez. Both great actresses. Um, Simon Baz, Rami Malek, we have uh, Riz Ahmed for actor number two. Between the two of these guys, either one of these works in my opinion. I like both of them, but I think I'm gonna go with, I think I'm gonna go with Riz Ahmed. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Riz Ahmed for this one. And uh, for Kilowog, we've got Ron Perlman from Hellboy and also David Harbour from the new Hellboy. So both Hellboys for Kilowog. I'm going to do Ron Perlman, um, but David Harbour is also a really, really good choice. And the teams, we have Alden Ehrenreich, Trevante Rhodes, Diego Boneta, Isaac Gonzalez, Rami Malek, and Ron Perlman. Really good lineup there. And we also have Miles Teller, Chadwick Boseman, Tyler Posey, Anna de Armas, Riz Ahmed, and David Harbour. Between the two of these, I'm gonna go with team two. Did that surprise you guys? I, I like team two. Miles Teller, Chadwick, Tyler, Anna, Riz, and David, I think is a really cool lineup. Team two, I mean, sorry, team one is also a complete winner across the board as well. But you guys tell me which team you prefer down below in the comments for Jack's Fancasts. Next up, we've got Fancast 24 seven. Welcome back to the Fancasting Summit. Let's take a look at what we got here. We've got Hal Jordan, Scott Eastwood from Pacific Rim Uprising and Suicide Squad, and Jarrett, I'm sorry, Garrett Headland from Triple Frontier and Tron Legacy. Between the two of these guys, I would choose Scott Eastwood. But Scott Eastwood is already in the DCEU, and Garrett Hedlund is so close to being as good in my head, uh, in, in my mind, for, for Scott, for Hal Jordan. So I'm gonna choose Garrett Hedlund on the basis that Scott is already in the DCEU, and Garrett's really, really good for the role. Next, John Stewart, we have Trevante Rhodes and Ty Diggs from All American and Grey's Anatomy. I think Ty is a really cool choice for this one, but I'm going to go with Trevante Rhodes. Next, let's take a look at Kyle Rayner, Tyler Posey from Teen Wolf, and Steven Yoon from The Walking Dead and Voltron. Between the two of these, I'm going with Tyler Posey. Jessica Cruz, we've got Gina Rodriguez and Monica Raymond from Chicago Fire and Lie to Me. This one is really cool. Um, I haven't seen Monica Raymond in anything that I'm aware of. So I can't base this off of acting. I really like Gina Rodriguez for the role, and I think she looks very much like the part, but Monica Raymond to me looks a lot more like Jessica Cruz from the comics. So I'm gonna go with M Monica Raymond on looks, taking on faith that she's a talented actress. But apart from that, it would clearly be Jessica Cruz. I mean, sorry, Gina, Gina Rodriguez for Jessica Cruz. All right, and then for Riz Simon Baz, we have Riz Ahmed and Elias Mbarek. Uh, from the Mortal Instruments, City of Bones, and The Physician. Between the two of these, I'm gonna go with Riz Ahmed. I like Riz Ahmed a lot, and I think he is good for the role. I would choose Riz. Next, we've got Kilowog, Nanso Anozi from Game of Thrones and the, the Netflix series Zoo, which was awesome, and I'm ashamed to know that they canceled it after three seasons. But Ron Perlman from Hellboy and Thor Ragnarok is also in here. Nonzo has a really deep macho voice, which I think would lend itself really well, but I'm gonna go with Ron Perlman. You can't beat Ron. Um, or you can, but you have to be named Kevin Michael Richardson. All right, so for this one, we have Scott Eastwood, Trevante Rhodes, Tyler Posey, Gina Rodriguez, Riz Ahmed, and Nonzo Anozi. Uh, and for team two, we have Garrett Hedlund, Ty Diggs, Steven Yoon, Monica Raymond, Elias Mbarek, and Ron Perlman. I'm gonna go with team one, but look at the cast for team two. That is a very unique casting all across the board. Very unique, except for Ron Perlman. I would say very, very much unique. Um, great choices. I like team one by a landslide. Let me know what you guys think down below. All right, Comic Man Jake, welcome back to the Fan Casting Summit. Uh, if you guys don't already follow him on Instagram, you can also follow him 
by subscribing to his YouTube channel where you can get all kinds of updates on everything comic books. And for the record, he is one of the biggest Green Lantern fans I've ever met. If you want more information on Green Lantern, you talk to this guy, Comic Man Jake. All right, so let's take a look. First up, we got Army Hammer from Mine and the Social Network and Jensen Ackles from Supernatural and Batman Under the Red Hood. This to me is the best possible scenario for casting, period. These are my top two actors for the role, is Army Hammer and Jensen. We didn't communicate that. He he had told me this before, um, before I had gotten a chance to check with everybody and all that stuff for this casting project. But yes, we both see this. For, for casting accuracy, either Jensen or Army would be great for this role. Literal tie in my brain. Um, but I don't know, like it's hard to choose. I think I would possibly go with, uh, it's so hard, man. Jensen, Army, Jensen, Army, Jensen, Army. Either one's a win. If I have to, have to, have to choose, I'm gonna go with, I wanna say Jensen. I'm gonna say Jensen Eagles. All right, next we've got Jon Stewart, uh, Blair Underwood from LA Law and Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., great actor. And Mahershala Ali, very well-known great actor from Green Book and Luke Cage as well. Both these guys have been in Marvel properties. Blade is currently cast for Mahershala Ali to play the lead. Um, but nevertheless, if I had to choose between the two of these guys, I think I'm gonna go with Mahershala Ali. But Blair Underwood looks a lot like the comic book version of, um, of Jon Stewart. So I think this is really, really good, accurate casting from both. Next, we have Darren Chris from American Crime Story and American Horror Story and David Henry from Wizards of Waverly Place and How I Met Your Mother. I really like that guy, David Henry. I think he's a really, really good actor um, and I think he needs to get more attention. I think he needs to be cast in a comic book role and I think this would be a good choice for him. But I'm gonna choose, um, even over David Henry, I think I'm gonna go with Darren Chris for this one, but it's close. Both are a win in my head. Next, Jessica Cruz. We've got Gina Rodriguez from Jane the Virgin and Carmen Sandiego and Diane Guerrero for um, Doom Patrol and Justice League versus the Fatal Five in which she actually voices the role of Jessica Cruz. Um, so she's already played the role. Between the two of these ladies, I'm gonna go with Diane Guerrero without a doubt. For me, it's solid, it's done. Diane Guerrero needs that role. Next, we've got Simon Baz from Riz, uh, we've got Riz Ahmed and Haz Sleiman from Of Kings and Prophets and Killing Jesus. I had not thought of Haz Sleiman when I was doing my fan castings, but if I had, he would have been in my top three for sure. I really think that Haz, uh, Haz deserves this role and I'm actually gonna give it to him over Riz Ahmed. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take Haz over Riz, which is saying a lot. I think Riz is really good for the role. All right, next we've got Kilowog, Ron Perlman, and Brad Garrett, both amazing, amazing choices for this casting, but I am going to go with Brad Garrett, who you guys know also from Everybody Loves Raymond. He plays Robert the brother. Raymond, 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 Raymond. Always the favorite. You know, he's always he's he's that guy. And so I would really like to see him get this role. And his voice is so, so Deep. I mean, Ron Perlman's is too, and it's iconic, but so is Brad Garrett's. And I think Brad Garrett's actually would fit this character a little bit more. So that's my choice. Next, let's take a look at these wonderful, awesome teams. First up, Army Hammer, Blair Underwood, Darren Chris, Gina Rodriguez, um, Riz Ahmed, and Ron Perlman. What a cast that is. But also, let's take a look at team two. Team two is Jensen Ackles, Mahershala Ali, David Henry, Diane Guerrero, Haas Sleeman, Brad Garrett. Look at that lineup for me. I love, love, love team two. Oh my gosh. If we got team two, I would be like, I'd be done. I'd be like, dude, this is amazing. We don't need to do anything else. Let's just focus on Green Lantern for a while. Look at this cast. It's so good. So I'm going with team two, but let me know what you guys think down below in the comments about Comic Man Jake's, um, his castings here for the Green Lantern Corps part one. Next up, we've got Fan Casting 10. Welcome back to the Fan Casting Summit. Let's take a look here. We've got Theo James, the Divergent series in Allegiant and Underworld Blood Wars, as well as Jensen Ackles from Supernatural and Smallville. Between the two of these guys, I'm gonna go with Jensen Ackles. I'm gonna go with Jensen by a landslide. I think Jensen is, I mean, Theo is good, but 
I like Jensen Eagles. Jensen Eagles is great for this, and he's got the he's got that character where he's macho, but he's also like he's cocky, hot headed, that kind of stuff. He could pull this off, nail it out of the park. I love that. Next, let's take a look at John Stewart, Ricky Whittle from the 100 and American Gods, and DB Woodside from Lucifer and 24. Between the two of these guys, I'm gonna go with Ricky Whittle. <laughs> And for Kyle Rayner, we've got Tyler Posey from Team Wolf and also Drew Roy from Sugar Mountain and Falling Skies. I really like um, Drew Roy, but Tyler Posey is perfect for this role. So I'm going to go with Tyler Posey. Next, we've got Jessica Cruz, Lindsay Morgan from The 100 and General Hospital, and Emerald Taubia from, if I'm saying it right, Tubia, I don't know how to say that, from Shadowhunters and Tattooed Love. Given the choice between the two of these ladies... I think I might actually go with, on looks, I'd go with Emerald, if I'm saying that correct, Emerald, Emerald Tubia, E.T. we'll call her, and uh, Lindsay Morgan for acting. I would go with Lindsay Morgan, I think, for this one, because she's not very far off from the look of the character, but uh, acting-wise, I think she's much better, so I'll go with her. All right, so Simon Baz, we've got Mina Masood from Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan and Aladdin, and also... Deniz Akdeniz, if that's how you say his, his name. From Tomorrow When the War Began and Once Upon a Time. Given the choice between the two of these guys, I'm going to go with Mina Masood, but Deniz is also really, really good. I loved him in Once Upon a Time, and I think he would be a good fit for the role. Kilowog, we've got Kevin Michael Richardson from Green Lantern, who played him in the Green Lantern animated series. He voiced him, and Lilo and Stitch. Also, Patrick Warburton from Emperor's New Groove. And a series of unfortunate events. If you don't remember who he plays in Emperor's New Groove, he plays Kronk, who says, He's me, he's me, put your hands in the air! You know, and he does the whole, like, uh, Oh, right, the poison, the poison chosen especially to kill Cusco. Cusco's poison. That poison. He does that, and the whole, like, buh, 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 that, All that, I love that. One of my favorite movies by, ever made by Disney, and Patrick Warburton is that guy. Both these voices, awesome, but I would go with Kevin Michael Richardson to pick the role back up after the Green Lantern animated series. Next, let's take a look at the teams. We've got first up, Theo James, Ricky Whittle, Tyler Posey, Lindsay Mor uh, Morgan, Mina Masood, and Kevin Michael Richardson. And for team two, we've got Jensen Ackles, D.B. Woodside, Drew Roy, Emrod Tubia, Denny's, Ag Denny's, and Patrick Warburton. Across, I think for the most part, team two is awesome. All the way, I mean, t team two is really good, but team one is like perfection. I would swap Jensen for Theo, but that would be my only stipulation, and I think team one is just grand, so I would go with team one. Let me know what you guys think down below. All right, Nerdy Blurb TV, what's up? Welcome back to the Fan Casting Summit. You guys need to follow uh, Nerdy Blurb TV on Instagram and also check out his YouTube channel where you will find, without a doubt, the best editing on YouTube. He is the GOAT. You check him out, and he's got some of the greatest nerd content as well. He's a unifier of the fan community. Uh, he's the one that kind of inspired projects like this, the Fan Casting Summit, to bring together a bunch of people um, to start that initiative. So check out his page to check out what the fandom initiative is and all the projects he's got going on over there. So, first up, Jensen Ackles from Supernatural and Smallville and Zac Efron from Baywatch and The Greatest Showman. I love Zac Efron. I love Jensen Ackles. Love them both. Both of these guys are amazing. But given the choice between the two of these, as much as I think Zac Efron is perfect to play um, Hal Jordan, I also think Jensen Ackles is great. This is a literal tie for me. Literal coin toss. It breaks my heart to have to choose one of these. But I'm going to go with uh, Jensen Efron or Zach Eagles. So you take your pick. Um, let's go with Jon Stewart, Green Lantern, Ricky Whittle versus Common, who's already in Suicide Squad, mind you, uh, and John Wick Chapter 2. So between the two of these guys, I think I would go with Ricky Whittle. But Common is a really cool choice, and I think he would fit the role really nicely. So let me know what you guys think down below. All right, let's take a look at Oscar Isaac for Kyle Rayner. And also Steven Yoon from Voltron Legendary Defender and The Walking Dead. Given the choice between the two of these guys, I think I'm going to go with Oscar Isaac. But no, you know what? This time I'm going to go with Steven Yoon. See, look, if you pick the, the image where he looks a lot older, 
uh, then I would not choose him. If you pick a pick your picture where he looks a lot younger, it helps, right? Like, so it helps. Even though now he's technically the older, this is an older photo, if you go with the younger photo. But Steven Yeun, I think, is much more youthful. Um, I don't think his face shape looks like uh, looks like Kyle Rayner, but nevertheless, I'm still, I'm gonna go with Steven Yeun. Great guy, great actor, total nerd, could pull the role. Let's do it. Jessica Cruz, we've got Diane Guerrero from Justice League Fatal Five, where she played Jessica Cruz, and also Doom Patrol, where she's killing it, and also Natalie Martinez from End of Watch and Death Race, who I think would be good, but Diane Guerrero is simply the best. So let's go with her. Next up, Simon Baz, Riz Ahmed from Rogue One, A Star Wars Story, and Venom, and also Mina Masood from Aladdin and Open Heart. We have done this matchup already, so I'm gonna just go ahead and make the call. It's Mina for me, but let me know what you guys think down below. All right, Kilowog, we've got Ron Perlman from Hellboy and Pacific Rim, and Idris Elba from Fast and Furious Presents Hobbs and Shaw, and Pacific Rim. Between the two of these guys, Idris is already in the DCU technically because he's been cast to play Bronze Tiger, we assume, in Suicide Squad 2. But Ron Perlman is also great. I would actually go with Idris, but he's already there. So I'm going to go with Ron Perlman. And let's take a look at the teams. So first up, we have Jensen Ackles, Ricky Whittle, Oscar Isaac, Diane Guerrero, Riz Ahmed, and Ron Perlman. For team two, we've got Zac Efron, Common, Steven Yoon, Natalie Martinez, Mina Masood, and Idris Elba. Both of these teams look rocking to me. Both of them would be fantastic. Love Hal Jordan's castings for both. John Stewart for both. I love uh, Kyle Rayner's. For both mostly i like oscar isaac but I'm, I'm gonna go with steven for the youth and then for jessica cruz um i like diane for simon baz i like both and for kilowog i like both very very close but team one has it for me jensen ricky oscar diane riz and ron got the team for me so let me know what you guys think down below in the comments and make sure to subscribe to nerdy blurb tv on youtube all right, so check him out. You're gonna love his content. All right, next up, we've got the fan cast. Dude, welcome to the fan casting summit. And look at that little pupper with his infinity pauntlet because it's a gauntlet with a paw. All right, so we've got the fan cast, dude, Army Hammer, and Scott Eastwood. Two of the guys that I thought would be best to play Cyclops are now being looked at for Hal Jordan, which I think is also good because he kind of plays more of a cocky Boy Scout. It's kind of like if you add. If you take Cyclops and you just add a double dose of self-confidence, that would be basically what you get for Hal Jordan. So I think that in this case, it would be Army Hammer with a close second to Scott Eastwood. But Scott is already in the DCEU. Um, so Fancast Dude says Jon Stewart should be played by Trevante Rhodes and Ricky Whittle. For this one, I would go with Ricky Whittle, but a close, close second to Trevante Rhodes. Both these are winners. So, so far we've got all winners for this cast. Um, Tyler Posey for Kyle Rayner and Josh Peck. This is a cool cast right here. You don't see Josh Peck get cast a lot these days, but I loved him. In, I thought some people didn't like him in Red Dawn. I liked him in Red Dawn. I liked him a lot in Red Dawn. Drake and Josh, duh. You gotta like him in, in Drake and Josh. Comedy, yes, I know. Not super serious, but nevertheless, Josh Peck, I think, is great. And Tyler Posey is also great. Both wins in my book. I would still like to see Tyler play more, but Josh Peck is a win. Next, let's take a look at Jessica Cruz. Let me just say this. It's spherical! That's what he did in the, in the show. I like to do that impression. It's a terrible impression, but I still like to do it. Isaac Gonzalez for Jessica Cruz uh, from Baby Driver and Alita Battle Angel. And Chloe Bennett from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and Marvel Rising Secret Warriors, where she plays quake the same character that she played in agents of shield so between the two of these i think that chloe is a really cool choice to play this role but i'm gonna give it to isa i think isa d would be better off in the role um simon baz we have mina and uh, i think i'm saying it right avon jogia or jogia i don't know how you would pronounce that exactly from victorious and twisted um i would go with mina masood on this one uh, I've seen Av Avon. I think he's a good actor, but Mina, I think, is better. And I think he's on the way up as opposed to Avon, who seems to be, from what I've seen, I haven't seen all of his work, but from what I've gathered, he looks to be like he's just kind of either staying the same or a little bit on the way down. And I think Mina's just rising up, so I want I want Mina for this role. 
Um, Kilowog, we've got David Harbour from Hellboy, Stranger Things, and he's also going to be in the Black Widow movie. And also Ron Perlman from Hellboy and Pacific Rim. Given the choice between the two of these, either one could work. I know every time we get this matchup, I choose Ron Perlman. David Harbour would also be great. Um, but I'm going to go with Ron Perlman. All right, next up. Let's take a look at the teams. We've got Army Hammer, Trevante Rhodes, Tyler Posey, Isaac Gonzalez, Mina Masood, and David Harbour. And for team two, we've got Scott Eastwood, Ricky Whittle, Josh Peck, Chloe ben uh, Bennett, Avon Jogia, and Ron Perlman. Between the two of these teams, I'm going to go with team one. And all the way across, I think we've got winners on top and bottom. Uh, so let me know which one you guys prefer down below. All right, next up, Epic Fancast. Welcome back to the Fan Casting Summit. Let's take a look at your choices. We've got James Marsden from uh, for, um, from X2 and Superman Returns. And I thought he was really good in Superman Returns. I did not like the movie Superman Returns, but I thought he was good in Superman Returns. Um, he, he added some like humanity to humans, if that makes sense. When he kind of like asks at the end, he's like, did you love him to uh, uh, Lois Lane? And then he kind of just like acknowledges like, okay, like I can't, I'll never be Superman. It kind of just, it showed a respect, but also just like a defeat. And then just him being mature and just kind of stepping back from that and letting Lois know that she's got to just make her choice and not run from her stuff. You know what I mean? So that was cool. I liked him there. But Scott Eastwood, super, uh, super, super great for Suicide Squad and Pacific Rim Uprising would be really awesome. I would choose James Marsden for this one. I know he's older, but he still looks very youthful and he looks like the role. So I'm gonna go with James Marsden. Now, Jon Stewart, Ricky Whittle, and Trevante Rhodes. I'm going with Ricky Whittle. Uh, for Kyle Rayner, we've got James Franco. Interesting, interesting choice. A little bit older now, but I think he is really good for the role. And Tyler Posey, also really good for the role. I'd go with Tyler on the basis of age, but James on the basis of acting. Um, and uh, Jessica, Tr Jessica Cruz, We've got Diane Guerrero, who has been Jessica Cruz, and Isaac Gonzalez. Between the two of these ladies, I'm gonna go with Diane Guerrero. Although admittedly, Isaac Gonzalez looks more like the comic book character. Um, and for Simon Baz, we've got Faraz Durrani and Riz Ahmed. I'm going to choose Faraz Durrani between the two of these guys, because I think Faraz is just the best you can do for this role. Um, Kilowog, we've got, let me see if I can get this one right. Go with me on this, ready? Adewale Akinuye Agbaje. From Thor The Dark World uh, and Suicide Squad, uh, both of which he plays characters that have either heavy like motion capture or like physical like makeup and stuff. He played Killer Croc in Suicide Squad. Um, so David Harbour plays Hellboy and Stranger Things, uh, he plays Hopper. I would go with David Harbour for this one over Adewale Akinuye Agbaje. There we go. Let me see if I can get that right one more time. Aduale, Anikuye, Agbaje. Does that sound good? All right, let's move on. Next, let's take a look at the teams. We've got James Marsden, Ricky Whittle, James Franco, Diane Guerrera, Faraz Durrani, and Aduale, Akinuye, Agbaje, and Scott Eastwood, Tra uh, Trevante Rhodes, Tyler Posey, Isaac Gonzalez, Riz Ahmed, and David Harbour. Between the two of these teams, I prefer team one. Did that scare you guys? Did that shake you to your core? I like team one better. Let me know what you guys think down below. This one's a really good, a really tight coin toss either way. Very good, because I preferred this guy, preferred this guy, then I preferred this guy, then I preferred her, then I preferred him, then I preferred him. So it's kind of like up and down a little bit, but nevertheless, you tell me who you like. Next up, we are getting towards the end, guys. So I want to show you guys my top two choices for each of these six characters in the Green Lantern Corps. I want you guys to let me know in the comments which ones of my choices you like. I also did the art for these ones as well. So if you guys like what you see, just let me know if you think there's some critiques that I need to make on the art for maybe next time so I can learn with you guys. But also let me know what you think about these castings because these are my favorite actors to play these six roles in the DCEU Green Lantern Corps. Let's get into it. All right, so first up we have Hal Jordan, Green Lantern, Jensen Ackles from Supernatural, and Batman Under the Red Hood, where he plays the Red Hood. Um, he is a nerd, he goes to Comic-Cons. Um, unfortunately, this is the year, the last season of Supernatural is airing. 
very emotional time at 2019's Comic-Con, but uh, San Diego Comic-Con, but nevertheless, um, really, really cool guy, and I think he would knock this role out of the park. The other person that I think is the most perfect for this role is Army Hammer from Mine and the Social Network. If you guys haven't seen Army Hammer in Mine, or if you haven't seen him in the Social Network, you need to see those movies. He is awesome. Guy's a giant, by the way. He's like 6'5 or something crazy, and uh, even if you were to imagine that or take that away, that, that shouldn't matter as much for Hal Jordan because height is not necessarily a factor. I think he's supposed to be like 6 feet or 6'1". But um, that's the approximate height of Jensen Ankles. So either of these guys work. If I had to choose between my own, I would probably go with Jensen Ankles. Um, but it's a literal coin toss for me. I like either of these guys. And you let me know who you like for these down below in the comments. Next up, for my fan casting, we have Jon Stewart, David Ramsey from Arrow, who plays John Diggle, uh, and Dexter. And also, I mean, he's in Dexter. And John, uh, I'm sorry, Michael B. Jordan from Creed 2 and Black Panther. If you guys um, have seen Arrow, one of the key elements that holds the show together is David Ramsey right there being that moral compass. He plays someone who was in the army. He played, or I, I, th I can't remember if it was an army or, the, or uh, the Marines, but he was in the military. I thought it was the army though. And um, he, uh, he plays a military strong type that's, also caring and compassionate, but gets that job done. And a lot of people back in the day, in the round, around uh, season two or three of Arrow, were fan casting him to play the Green Lantern and hoping that DC um, on CW would just retcon Jon Stewart and ma make it so that David uh, Ramsey was actually playing Jon Stewart Diggle, or rather make Diggle his nickname and he just goes by that and his real true name was Stuart so that you could retcon him to be the Green Lantern. That would have been awesome, but they never did it and I think they should. I think that this was a missed opportunity. He should be playing the Green Lantern, uh, Jon Stewart. And also Michael B. Jordan has proved himself with Creed II and Black Panther, very talented actor. Um, and I would love to see him get a chance to play this role. He's a beef, beefcake city. This guy is jacked out of his face. And I think he's got the talent and the chops to play the role. So let me know what you guys think about him down below playing the Green Lantern, Jon Stewart. All right, next up, uh, we've got the uh, Kyle Rayner fan cast. We have Zachary Quinto from Star Trek and Heroes, who plays Spock. I think would be really good to play a slightly older Kyle Rayner. And then Tyler Posey playing Teen Wolf. Uh, playing He played roles in Teen Wolf and Truth or Dare. And I think he would do a really good job playing Kyle Rayner. So Tyler Posey, in my opinion, would be the better choice to play Kyle Rayner. But either of these gentlemen could do it. And I think if you picked Zachary Quinto, it'd be 100% a win in my book. So let me know which one you guys like out of the two of these down below in the comments for Kyle Rayner. Next, we've got Jessica Cruz. We have Marie Abgaropoulos from The 100 and Tracers. And also Rebecca Marie Gomez. You guys know her as Becky G. She's a singer, but she's also an actress who played in Axel and Power Rangers 2017. She plays Trini the Yellow Ranger. So if you guys haven't seen that movie, check it out. It's really cool um, kind of revisioning of the Power Rangers where they kind of pull the innocence out of it a little bit and give it a little bit more of a teen angst, almost like a... I don't, I don't, I don't know how to describe, it, but it's a, it's a coming of age movie, which is what Power Rangers always has been, except for they kind of get a little bit more grounded in the real world, which some people like, some people didn't. I thought the movie worked for what it was trying to do, and I thought she was really good in it. So Becky G came to mind for this fan cast, and I think that she would do a really good job playing Jessica Cruz. You guys, let me know between Marie Abgaropoulos and Becky G, which one you like better to play um, Jessica Cruz. Next up, let's take a look at Simon Baz. We have Faraz Durrani from Power Rangers Mystic Force and Hacksaw Ridge. Um, he's no stranger to playing like a military type. And Simon Baz is known for, um, you know, like wielding guns and that kind of stuff. This guy's no stranger to action either being a Power Ranger and also Mina Masood from Aladdin and Open Heart. Both of these guys, really, really good actors. And both of them fit the description of the character. And I think they would be really good. So you let me know, of the two of these guys, which one you prefer to play Simon Baz in the DCEU. Let's go. Next, Kilowog. We're looking at Brad Garrett from Everybody Loves Raymond and Christopher Robin and also Michael 
uh, I'm sorry, Kevin Michael Richardson from Green Lantern, the animated series, and Lilo and Stitch. I think that this would be a really good cast if either of them were picked. Obviously, these are my own choices, so of course I think that. But I want to hear from you. Let me know if you guys think that Brad Garrett would be better to voice the character Kilowog with his ridiculously deep voice, or if you think that Kevin Michael Richardson, who has the experience playing the role and one of the lowest voices in acting today, should get the role. All right, so let's take a look at the teams. We have, for team one, Jensen Ackles, David Ramsey, Zachary Quinto, Maria Abgaropoulos, Farah Durrani, and Brad Garrett. For team two, we're looking at Army Hammer, Michael B. Jordan, Tyler Posey, Rebecca Marie Go Gomez, known as Becky G, and also Mina Masood, and Kevin Michael Richardson. So between the two of these teams, by my own design, I like team one better. But let me know what you guys think about my castings down below in the comments section, and we can have that discussion. So now, you guys have made it all the way to the end. We are going to look at the final results. So here are the most wanted actors to play the DCEU Green Lantern Corps. The number one most wanted actor to play DCU Hal Jordan Green Lantern is, drum roll, bah! Jensen Ackles and Army Hammer both got five votes, which means we have a tie for first place most wanted actor to play Green Lantern Hal Jordan in the DCEU. Let me know what you guys think about both of these guys, and for the runners up, we're looking at second place going to Scott Eastwood with four votes and Miles Teller getting three votes total out of the 20 fan casters who are participated and 40 total votes um, out of the entire thing. So that's pretty cool. We got five. That means there's a lot of um, varying actor choices. People were very unique with their choices. Not a ton of overlap. Um, that means in total there's five, ten, about um, uh, 15, 16, 17, 18. Nine, uh, what was that? So 10, uh, 5, 10, 14, th uh, 16, 17, 17 votes. So 17, my math sucks, but 17 votes total uh, were overlapping. And then everything below that was either a one, uh, like a, 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 a double match where there was two or no, no matches at all. That's pretty cool. There's a lot of, a lot of people out there that could play this role. A lot of great choices. You guys did great. Well, let's take a look at the next one. Most wanted actor to play DCU John Stewart Green Lantern is Ricky Whittle with eight votes. Awesome, awesome choice. This guy is a rock star. I love him so much. Um, and also the the, rec, the runners up are second place goes to Travante Rhodes with six votes and Mahershala Ali with five votes coming in third. This is a really cool casting. There was a lot more overlap with these guys than there was even with the, the Hal Jordan castings, but I do agree. I think that this was appropriate. I think that uh, Ricky Whittle was deserving that for, that most wanted role. Um, Travante Rhodes deserved it, and uh, Mahershala Ali would have knocked it out of the park, but don't worry, my friends, my fellow comic book geeks, we're gonna get to see him play Blade very, very soon. So you guys stay seated, stay buckled, Keep yourself whelmed, and we're going to be able to see much more comic book action coming out of these guys very soon. All right, next up we've got the most wanted actor to play DCEU, Kyle Rayner, and the Green Lantern is Tyler Posey coming in with nine votes strong. Look at that, nine votes for Tyler Posey, and the runners-up are Oscar Isaac in second with five votes, and Steven Yuen, or I'm sorry, Yoon, with three votes. That's really cool. I really like these guys. Um, I think for me... The only one I think that really, really works for this one is Tyler Posey, and I think he deserved it. But you guys tell me, do you think that maybe some of these other guys got robbed? Do you think that they deserve that role? Um, do you think that Tyler deserves the role that he earned um, in this fan casting with uh, 20, of fa 20 fan casters voting, uh, casting their votes and nine votes coming in for Tyler? Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments, and let's keep moving. We've got the number one actress to play DCEU, Jessica Cruz, Green Lantern is Isa Gonzalez with seven votes. That is really cool. Uh, really, really cool. I'm really happy for this one. Isa Gonzalez is a really talented actress, and I think she would do really well in this role. But also, let's take a look at these next castings. We have Gina Rodriguez for second place, came in with six votes, and Diane Guerrero with four votes. 
I really do think that any of these ladies would do the do the role some serious justice and I can't wait to see these characters come to life. They might not be in the very first Green Lantern movie, but they might be in the second or third. So that would be really cool to see. I'd love that. Let's get that going as quickly as possible, DC and Warner Brothers. All right, most wanted actor to play DCEU Simon Baz Green Lantern is Riz Ahmed with 12 votes. That is a really strong uh, voting voting range. There's 20 casters and they each get two votes. That's 40. And out of 40 votes, Riz got 12. That's really good. So Riz is the winner. And the runners up, we're looking at my two choices here. Mina Masood, second place with eight votes total. And Faraz Durrani coming in third with six votes. That's some strong numbers right there, guys. That's a lot of overlap. Most of the votes cast for this character were coming in at these three characters right here. So that is really really cool i like this any of these guys would knock it out of the park i love this casting so for the number one most wanted actor to play dceu kilowog green lantern is take your wild guess right now here we go it is ron perlman with nine votes that is strong numbers right there nine votes out of 40 total votes for the character really really cool i think that he deserves the role you can mocap him even. And David Harbour coming in with five votes, the other Hellboy. And Ving Rhames with four votes as well. Um, I believe Kevin Michael Richardson got three votes, if I'm not mistaken. Had to mention that because I love that guy. But any of these guys would do a really good job playing the bruiser of poosers. That would be really, really cool. And I can't wait to see um, this. Hopefully we do get Ron Perlman playing that, that role. Would be awesome. All right, and now here we have the final results. The most wanted actress play DCU Green Lantern Corps. Take a gander. This would be, based on the results of the Summit Gathering, the most wanted actors, this would be your roster right here. Either Jensen Ackles or Army Hammer for Hal Jordan. We've got John Stewart Green Lantern played by Rick, Ricky Whittle. Kyle Rayner Green Lantern played by Tyler Posey. Jessica Cruz Green Lantern played by Isa Gonzalez. Simon Baz Green Lantern played by Riz Ahmed and Kilowog Green Lantern played by Ron Perlman. Do you guys like this? Look at this cast, it looks freaking cool. Do you appreciate this? Do you think that this would be an awesome casting for Warner Brothers and DC to jump on board with and get these guys on the big screen in a Green Lantern film? Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments about this final results and now, and now, before we cut out, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who participated in the Fan Casting Summit number six, DCEU Green Lantern Corps part one. I know there's so many more characters that we weren't able to get around to casting because it's just so many that are so important to this storyline that we couldn't do like Guy Gardner and we couldn't do Carol Ferris and there's so many that we weren't able to get to. But we are again this is a part one we will be doing more in the future i wanted to say a big thank you to everybody who came out for this summit so by name let's go down the list first up nave wave 88 correct rankings fan cast agent fan cast just another fan cast account dream fan cast fan cast 3000 fan cast forever fan cast frenzy fan cast power fan casting central world of fan cast fan cast infinity jack's fan cast fan cast 24 7 comic man jake Fancasting 10, Nerdy Blurb TV, The Fancast Dude, Epic Fancasts. Thank you all so much for coming out to be a part of this project. And again, of course, myself being a part of this project. But I really, I would not have been able to do this without you guys. Thank you so much for participating. I love your guys' channels. I love your work. I follow you on Instagram. And I'm so blessed and excited to see what you guys have cr cranking out every single day on your channels. Um, all the fan castings you do is just amazing and I've really enjoyed it. Thank you guys And if you guys out there are watching Follow these guys on Instagram I put their Instagrams on the right so that you can see that and again There are a couple of youtubers on here like comic man Jake number 15 and number 17 nerdy, nerdy blurb TV um, Our youtubers out here as well. So check them out out here on YouTube and subscribe to their channel So I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who was a part of this project you guys, I really appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so much for being a part of this project. This was such a blast for me to make. I love the Green Lantern Corps and I can't wait to see these stories told. Which one of these castings was your favorite? Was there a specific fan caster that hit the nail right on the head and got all the actors you like? Let me know which one that was 
and say thank you to those guys and let them know to come back for the next summit. That way you can get more of that like-minded action. Once more, thank you to everyone who watched this video. You guys rock. Share this if you can and tag Warner Brothers, tag DC. Let's see if we can get Warner Brothers to see this video and maybe get some of these actors uh, in contact and start talking with them about that project because the sooner we can get the Green Lantern Corps movie off the ground with some casting, the faster we get these stories. We don't want to rush stories, but we would like to make this a priority. So that is what we want. Let the studios know you want it. And anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be alerted right away when I go live next time or when we do another summit so you can be a part of this giant live premiere project just like all the rest of these guys who are part of this project. Thank you guys so much for watching. Share this with some of your nerd friends. I know you got them and you know who they are. You guys come back for the next one. I'll see you next time right here on the Stuff of Legend. Hey guys, D-Lo here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And remember to share this video with all of your nerd friends. I know you got them, and you know who they are. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought about this discussion. Let me know what you would like to see me do a video on next. Subscribe to the channel because you're a legend, and we have that in common. Also be sure to turn on notifications to be notified right away when I upload my next video, or so that you can be alerted when I go live next time. That way you'll never miss a thing. Check out the other videos on the channel so that we can have a discussion on all your favorite movies and TV topics. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more right here on The Stuff of Legend.